Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Foster? Fine, thank you. Good. How was the weekend? Busy. Busy. Right. Yes. Um, do you go back to work tomorrow or have you been working? I've been in home office and uh, been going one day a week. Okay. So you go to your work once a week? Yeah. All right. Good. All right. Um, so welcome back, everybody. Today is the 15th of June, 2020. Do you remember what we spoke about on Thursday? Henry, Aleda, Joel. Good night. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. So do you remember what we spoke about on, on, um, on Thursday? The ones that were present. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so can you mention the topics that we spoke about on, on Thursday, our last session of last week? The imperative. Imperatives, okay. Is when you're telling someone what to do. Exactly, imperatives is when you're telling someone what to do. Um, that, that was one of the things we mentioned. What else did we talk about? Future events. Yes, future events. And how did you speak about future events? The structure of is subject, the subject, uh -huh. plus will, plus verb. Okay, so yeah, that's one of the options that we have. You use will. Is will um, the only option that we have to talk about future? Anybody? Going to? Yes, going to, will, any other options? Can you use present continuous for future events? Can you, class? Yes, we can. Yes. yes. Yes, you can also use present continuous to talk about uh, future events. So if someone gives you $100 out of nowhere, you tell this person, I'm buying food. But you're not doing the action right now. You're talking about future plans. So you're using um, future uh, present progressive to talk about future events. Any other option that you have to talk about future? No. Simple present, future perfect, future continuous are other options that we have. Okay, um, anything else that we spoke about besides future structures? Anybody? Henry, Veronica, Patricia, Leda. No more topics. Okay. Um, so right now, what was what was the main news on the weekend? What was the biggest event in El Salvador on the weekend? That's the quarantine is going to be over. Good. This, this week. Exactly. Quarantine is going to be over. Exactly. 
and everybody has different reactions. You know, some people are uh, okay with it. Other people are against it. Other people are like, who knows what's going to happen? So that's going to be the first topic you will talk about. Um, I will assign you to working pairs and you will talk about your opinion um, about how the end of the quarantine is going to either benefit or affect our country. So we all live here, we're all in El Salvador, so we see everything uh, firsthand, you know, so we experience uh, the quarantine um, every day. So I'm going to assign you to be working in pairs. Uh, let's see, we're here. And remember, when you finish talking about the topic, if it's not time yet to go back to the main session, talk about other things. Okay, are the instructions clear? Yes, it's clear. Okay, so here we go. Hello, Jaime. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. You? Thanks for asking. Uh, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Staying home safe, you know? Yeah. Uh, okay, so your friends are working in pairs right now. I'm going to send you to group two with Aleida and Brenda. Okay, no problem. All right.
yeah, I saw that today in the morning, a lot of people without masks in the streets. I saw in the in the in the news that there's a lot of people in La Tiendona uh, with selling and buying and all all is going to back to to the normally but that's going to be a little bit dangerous in a few days yeah it's true but i'm a little bit i, I don't know worry about the person about that person because i think they have to to work you know but maybe they need to have more i don't know careful with with that uh, beds uh, to to attend all person that get sick of COVID. I have uh, uh, friends that are nurse, and she told me that there there are many people that that is that that he's that is dying. True. It's true. Of people are trying are dying because the the companies or the government we can help yes i audited the of the company tigo ah so you studied uh accounting yes oh you like the numbers Do you like numbers? Yes, I like the numbers. Good. It's outside. Yes. Yes, um, well, that's true as well. Uh, I think that quarantine also has to long a little more but um uh, i was telling to gloria that it's like a battle between the help and the economy of the country as well we're not for the economy is is important because the country was an, in an economic recession and many people don't have food for example. Yes, I mean, when this gets over, I think it will be a lot of more poor than is actually, you know, this, this employee. Yeah. Sure, many is employed. Yes. yes, so that's sad. So, so yes, I, I was telling to Gloria that we have to keep like our individual uh, health discipline to use the alcohol head, the face mask, the glove. Well, oh, no. Yes. Mm -hmm. The mask. Okay. Yeah. To wash our hands. Um, I, how you say? Uh, more often? More often, yes. More often. And also, I think it's very necessary uh, all people uh, make aware and the problem uh, and the, what damage uh, is the coronavirus, for example. Uh, I think many people don't have uh, uh, aware uh, in this case. Um, uh, for example, uh, people uh, live, uh, live uh, 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 in your house for different things that uh, it don't uh, important. I'm sorry, I didn't get it. 
Hello. 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 I'm sorry. Hello. I was a bad. I was having a bad. A few minutes. A, a few seconds. And I need a, a, around to 20, 20 seconds for wash the, the their hands and and eliminate the virus. Uh, yeah, I'm um, here that, that it's tw 20 seconds, I think. You have to wash your hands 20 seconds or more, right? right. That, that's the minimum, 20 seconds. Uh, the meaning you wash your hands for 20 minutes? Uh, I'm sorry. Seconds. 20 seconds, yeah. Right. But the people don't use the 20 seconds. It's only use 10, 10 seconds. True. There's a, a, a meme that says that in 2020, 2020 we, need, we, we learn to wash our hands. That's our, yeah. our <laughs> that's what we, we learn in this year. Right. People are more conscious about washing hands now. Yes, we, we don't have that. Have it. Yes, yes, sorry to 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 take a to take attention to to washing our hands. Just do like hurry and and don't don't take care about it. Right. Yeah, it's true. Other pro problem is the the bus when the people use the the bus. Uh, we we don't have the distance sufficient for for uh, I don't know what do you say alejar. What is it? Uh, alejar distance have the distance for the other people in the bus. Okay. Right. Yes, in that place is is a little bit difficult to take to take this distance because it's always is full and and nobody has that care about to, to be in in a place in separate place right okay so let's go back to the main session okay hello hello welcome back Hello. Hello. Okay. All right. Um, any opinions about uh, now that we don't have any more quarantine? Yeah. Well, I, I was telling to Veronica and Gloria uh -huh. that it has to be like uh, individual uh, discipline of health. <laughs> um, um, just to to take care of ourselves and uh, our family because uh, now uh, we don't know who may have coronavirus. Yep. So, so we have to always be aware of, of everybody. Yeah. Of everybody, yes. So we have to be more, um, uh, how do you say? Uh, Careful, clean, careful, clean. <laughs> yep. To to be um, watching our hands and all that, because it this is not a country that can follow a long quarantine. We don't have the uh, re re resources. The resources. Good, good opinion. Someone else wants to say something? Only Laura has an opinion about quarantine that it's over. We talk about that. Uh, we saw uh, some people that uh, was outside, even don't using mask and don't and don't taking the measures the protocols yes the necessary uh, basic 
to to this uh, situation. So it's going to be hard in a few days if we don't take care about it. Yep. Yeah, some people might misunderstand that because we don't have any more quarantine, you know, the virus is not here anymore. Now, some people might do it on purpose, like, oh, nothing's going to happen to me, so I'm not, I don't need a mask. But, yeah, I think it was uh, kind of soon to finish the quarantine. Yep. All right, uh, anybody else would like to say anything before we change activities? No? All right, so uh, how far are you in the platform? Have you been working in the platform? Yes, I got yes. onto unit three. Okay, fine. Yeah, so like, like I told you the in the first sessions, uh, it is recommended that because we didn't we had the chance to be home more more time than before, whatever we covered today, the suggestion was that you did the same uh, work in the platform. But now that some of you guys are going back to work physically speaking. Um, we do recommend to do it on a weekly basis, uh, but not longer, because if you do, then work starts to accumulate, and then you have a lot of things to do. So we don't want you to be left out for the next level because you didn't do the work in the, in the platform. All right, so um, there is a... This exercise, do, do you see my, my screen? Not yet. Not yet, okay, hold on. Let me share this. All right, do you see it now? Yes. All right. Yes, So we have, uh, some of you might already finish this, some of you, are not there yet, but this is just to uh, promote more speaking. Now, if we talk about El Salvador, what is the result before a man and a woman get married? What usually happens? From the options that we have here, we have six options, bless you. What is the most appropriate for, for El Salvador? They usually go on a short trip Called it uh, honeymoon. Okay, but be, that that usually happens after. And here it says oh, before. Yes, before. before. Gives the okay. woman a diamond ring. Okay, okay, it can happen. Look, like I know that you and I are meant for each other. So here is a ring. Maybe sure. They and they the other. What is it? Behind behind the they plan the wedding. Yeah. Okay, sure. Before they get married, they they talk about it. They plan like where, when, who's coming, and yes. Any other possibility? They date, date each other for a year or more. Okay, good. What do you think is the best time? What? How much time should a couple date before they get married? Do you agree no. with one year? No. Is it too long or too more. short? Too short. Too short. <laughs> yeah, too short. Maybe other cultures, but I, I, in Salvador, I think you need more time too. Yes. All right. Um, so what would be the best answer for this one? Because this is a knowledge check uh, exercise. What would be the best answer? The last one, date each other for about, for about a year. year. Okay, so let's let's click on that one and then we check the, the answers. Okay, the second one says, when a couple gets engaged. Now, what's the meaning of the word engaged? Anybody? Compromiso. Right, 
So you're you're a boyfriend girlfriend, and the boyfriend proposed to get married, and she said yes. So you are engaged now. So what would be the best absent the best answer for number two? The man often gives a woman a diamond ring. A diamond ring. Okay, when a couple gets engaged, the man often gives a woman a diamond ring. Okay. Yeah. What would be another possibility when a couple gets engaged? Vain to plan the wedding. Vain to plan the wedding. Yeah, exactly. All right. So what would be the best answer for, for, for this quiz? Give the woman a diamond ring. A diamond ring. Again. Okay, give the woman a diamond ring. Okay, question three. Right after a couple gets engaged, what happens after they get engaged? Begin to plan the Mm -hmm. Began to plan the wedding. Okay. The uh, wedding reception. Okay. Pay for the wedding uh, and reception. That could be a possibility too. You know. All right. Uh, question four: When a woman gets married, her family usually pays for, for the wedding and reception. reception. Okay, now how does uh, that happen here in El Salvador? Who pays for the wedding and reception? A couple. The couple. Yeah, they go 50-50. Right. Okay, so let's click on that one. Number five. When people are invited to a wedding, they almost always... Give the bride and groom a gift or some money. Okay, so give the bride and groom a gift or some money. Let's click there. And we have one more. Right after a couple gets married, they usually go on a church trip called a honeymoon. Honeymoon, all right. So we're talking about getting married. Let's check the answers. And all your answers were good. Nice. Good work. Uh-huh. For the ones that are married in, in this class, in this group, how, how long have you been married? Huh. Is been married one, one year. One year. Okay. I'm uh, so no one else is married here? I'm from five years. Five years? Yes. Okay. Eight years. Eight years. Okay. So as we were doing this exercise, were you thinking about the time you got married? Honestly? No? No, teacher, I mean, no. not me. Okay, fine. Well, I, when I was checking this, I, I was thinking about when I got married. Yeah. <laughs> some, some things were like similar, some were like the same, but yeah, you, you, you start thinking about it. All right. <laughs> Any questions or comments about getting married? No. <laughs> All right, so let's change the topic. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> oh, don't get married. <laughs> don't get married. Yeah, don't get married. That's your, your advice. <laughs> Enjoy your life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, being married is cool, you know, like, if there is communication, if there is understanding, uh, it's cool to be married. But anyways, all right, so um, we have a reading activity that I want to share with you. Do you see the image? No, not yet. 
Not yet. Let me. Not yet. All right. Let me fix something. Uh -huh. Unique customs. So let me see this here. Wait up. Okay, do you see it now? No. Oh, yeah. Yes. Unique customs? Unique customs. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay. Do we have any unique customs in El Salvador? Mm. What do I mean unique? Like, um, like you, it, it, according to the paragraph that you only see in the places they mention. Uh, teacher. Yes. In, in Tonacatepeque or Nehapa, the uh -huh. throw five words. Exactly. That's unique. That's a unique custom. Good. Does anybody know about any other unique custom in El Salvador? No. Okay. Mm. Can you explain what happens there? Um, they celebrate the that that God. Uh, how how do you say, Benzer? Defeat. 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 Uh huh. Defeat the devil. Right. Defeat. I wrote it in the in the WhatsApp chat. Yes, that's another unique custom in El Salvador. Can somebody mention one more? Defeat. No. Okay, so we have five. Who? All those favoritos. Right, right. Awachapan. Right. Awachapan. Yeah, that's the, and it's coming soon, September, huh? Yes. Yeah, like like in yeah, like in three months. A little bit less than three months. Well, hopefully yes. it's going to be held. All right, so we have five different um, stories from different countries. Uh, can I have a volunteer to read the first one? Only one. Me the church. Yes, please. Me the church. Mariello's, please. Okay. January 70, it's San Antonio's Day in Mexico. It's a day when people ask for protection for the animals by bringing, bringing them to church. But before the animals go into the church, the people usually dress them up in, a, in flowers and ribbons. Ribbons. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Any questions about vocabulary? Or pronunciation of words? Um, Is there ribbon? anything to eat? Ribbons? Can somebody explain the word ribbons? Like, uh, imagine that uh, you have a Facebook account. Oh, and someone that you know dies, so you put a black ribbon as the uh, as a picture that you post or your profile picture. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Any uh, other epitaph? What is it? It's epitaph. Epitaph. 
Uh huh. Yeah, it's it's it is something that uh, like when they do the the thing for cancer, I think they wear a pink ribbon, if I'm not mistaken. I think. All right. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Do do we have anything similar in El Salvador that we pr we pray for the protection of animals? No. 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 All right. Another volunteer to read the second one, please. Me. Okay. Please. Me. Okay. Okay, on August 15 of the lunar calendar, Koreans celebrate Shusok, also now as Korean Thanksgiving. It's a day when people give thanks for the harvest. Korean family honor their ancestors by going to their cave to take thin rice and fruit and clean the grave sites. Grave sites. Very good. Grave Thank you. Sites. All right. Any questions here about meaning or pronunciation? Is everything clear? Teacher, what is the meaning of harvest? Harvest. Harvest is when you plant something and maybe three or four weeks after you see the results. Okay, thank you. Yes. Do we have anything like Thanksgiving here in El Salvador? Maybe the day of the cross? Oh, yeah, maybe. maybe. Right, right. Good. All right. Uh, anything else in the second paragraph, in the second unique custom? No? No. Okay, so someone else wants to read number three, please. Somebody, anybody? Me, teacher. Yes, please. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Long ago in India, a princess who needed help sent her silk bracelet to an emperor. Although he, he did not arrive in time to help her, he kept the bracelet as a sign of the bond between them. Today in India, during the festival of Raki, men prom promise to be loyal to their women. In exchange, the women give them a bracelet of silk, cotton, or gold thread. Yes. Good. Any questions there? What's the meaning of thread? Uh, thread is only the word thread is like a connection, but here they go together. So each word needs the other one to make sense. So gold thread is something symbolic, like ilu, but it has to be colored gold. Okay. Yes. Anybody else? Any questions? Comments about vocabulary or pronunciation? No? Okay, may I have volunteer number four, please? Me. Okay, Victor, please. On the evening of February 3, okay, number people four. in Japan Ah, please. Oh, thank you. One of the biggest celebrations in Argentina is New Year Eve. On the evening of December 31st, families get together and have a big meal. At midnight, fireworks explode everywhere and continue throughout the night. This is day when friends and families meet for parties which lasts until the next morning. All right, good. Questions there? Do 
Do you guys remember the meaning of the word Eve? Eve, Eve. Do you? Okay. Yes. Yes. Right. It means the the day before. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Any questions in paragraph yeah. four? How do we celebrate uh, uh, December 31st in El Salvador? It's similar, teacher. The same date. Yep. Yeah, families get together and have a big meal. At midnight, fireworks explode everywhere. And they continue throughout the night. All right, um, any questions in number four? No. Okay, so I need the last volunteer to read number five. I can do it. Okay, please. On the evening of February 3, people in Japan celebrate the end of the winter and the beginning of, of spring. This is known as Setsubum. Family members throw, throw dried beans around their homes, shooting, good luck in, evil spirit out. After they throw the beans, they pick them up and eat one bean for each year of their age. All right, good, thank you. Any questions here? So places and countries like Japan, you know, they do have uh, different seasons. El Salvador is different. We have tropical weather, so we don't have seasons. We have the dry period and the rainy period. That's it. Any questions in the last one? No. No questions. Okay, so let's do the movies here. That is second. Yes, this one here. All right. Here we are. Okay, so let's do some practice about the different things we have been doing in class. Second. Not responding. <clears throat> oh. 
Okay, here we go. Okay, so here you have three options for each exercise. What will be the best option for number one? Anybody? I'm watching the, the reading we just read. Is it reading photo? Okay, which, which do you see the, the 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 questions that I have in my screen? No, no, no. Oh. only the paragraph. Okay, I got you now. Sorry, do you see it now? Yes. 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 All right. So, what would be the answer for the best option for number one? Please clean blank bedroom. Up. Clean, clean, up. clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Okay, clean up. Okay, let's check on that one. What about number two? Would you away. please put, put away? Put away. Okay, put away. What about the next one? Turn no. down. 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 Okay. Out. Down. Okay. Down. What's What's the difference between down and out? Is there a difference? Down. Right. Turn down means to reduce the volume. Mm -hmm. And turn out. Is turn. Turn, like turn off. Yeah. Could be. Could be. Turn off. All right. So let's go to the section two. Read the yeah. sentences and choose between an infinitive or a gerund. What will be the best option for number one? Um. Okay. To cook. For cooking. For cooking. Mm -hmm. Cooking. Okay. Go here. What about number two? When you go to the beach, try. Not getting. Not, not, getting. not to get. Not to get. Okay. So I hear some of you saying not to get or not getting. So which one do we choose? One or three? To don't get. Okay, let's choose the first one. We will see if it was right. Number three, you can use my cell phone. Uh -huh. To leave. To leave. Okay, to leave. leave our voicemail. Okay, what about number four? Good for taking. Don't forget. To take. To take. To take. To take. To take. Okay, let's check that one and let's send it. Let's see if your answers were good. 2020. 2020. That's good. That's really good. Any questions or comments? Uh, now we'll go with the rewrite. So it says rewrite the sentences, choose the correct form of the words given. Close the door, please. What's the name of oh, you could, would, should, may, might? What's the name of those words? Models. models models and remember we use models to sound more polite so how will you make uh, that request using models so you could sound very polite could you close the door please could you close the door please okay what about number two please take out the garbage 
would you please take out the garbage? Okay, would you please take out the garbage? What about number three? Don't sit there. Uh -huh. Would you mind, you mind don't, sit don't, there? Sit in, don't sit in there? Okay. Would you mind not sitting there? Would you mind not sitting there? What about number four? Please take the cat out. Can you please, Can you take, please the take the cat uh -huh. out? Yeah. And the last one, repeat that, please. Could you repeat that, please? Could you repeat that, please? All right, good. Uh, do you guys have pets at home? Do you have dogs or cats? Yes. Yes, yes, I have a dog. Okay. Do you sometimes need to take him or her out of your house? Yes. Okay. Because they, they need to go out as well. Okay. Um, any questions about this exercise that we just finished over here? No. Teacher. Yes. Uh, we can say, could you please? Or sure. the the word please or the word please is going to uh, go on the end. No, it can be in the middle and it can also be at the end. Yeah. So can you please take the garbage out? Can you take could, the garbage out, you please? please? Sure. And you can also use please at the beginning. Please, can you take the garbage out? So it can be in the, the same with. Uh huh. The same with could you and would you. Exactly. They can be um, in the beginning, sometimes in the middle, or at the end. In the question you're asking me right now in particular, uh, they can go in three different positions. Okay. Yep. Any other questions? Questions uh, about the platform. Yes. Uh, uh, yes, Jaime. I, I write the of the correct way, but don't uh, give me a, a correct. Okay. A correct, which, uh, which which number? All of all of this. Really. Yes. Okay. Can you try it says to, that it's grown. to write? Can you try to write the okay the anger? Okay. Do you see the answers? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. So so remember something that sometimes uh, punctuation, the one that you're using, has a lot to do with it. So you can say, could you close the door, please? So in the first one, if you don't include the comma, uh, the platform will take it as a wrong answer. So um, remember, since you're making a request, there has to be a question mark at the end. So whenever you know you're 100% sure that your answers are good, try to modify or change the punctuation that you're using. Are these the same answers that you were using? I forget, put the question mark. Okay. Yeah, so one, you know, like sometimes a question mark, a comma, an exclamation mark, that can be uh, making a, a difference. And that's why the platform is not going to take it the right way. Any other questions or comments before we leave? Teacher, what about the listening, listening exercise, carnival time? Okay. What about it, uh, Foster? Uh, any answer I, I, I put in 
uh, it's wrong. Okay, uh, what section is that one, Foster? It's a three. Three point six. Three point six. Okay, okay. So let me check it um, tomorrow morning, uh, and I'll have an answer for you uh, before we come to class again tomorrow. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay, so we're going to stop right here. Uh, thanks again for making the time, making the space. Sleep well, and see you guys tomorrow. Same place, same time. Okay. Okay. okay bye. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 See you later.